Hey everyone, welcome to my channel again. So, in the previous video, I have covered about coronavirus. In this video, I'll be covering about hantavirus. So, let's start with it. So, the contents we'll be covering are hantavirus, how it spreads, how can hantavirus enter my body, symptoms, the prevention and treatment of this particular kind of virus. So, this is the microscopic uh, image of this particular kind of virus, hantavirus. So, hantavirus is a virus that is found in the urine, saliva or droopings of infected deer or mice and some other wild rodents also like uh, rats and uh, various kinds of various uh, other species of rats. It causes a rare but serious lung disease called as hantavirus pulmonary syndrome uh, denoted as HPS also. The virus does not remain active for long once outside of its host. This is the case with all the viruses. Less than one week outdoors and a few hours when exposed to direct sunlight. How can hantavirus enter my body? People can contact the hantavirus infection through inhalation of respirable droop, uh, you know, droplets of saliva or urine or through the dust or feces of infected wild rodents. Transmission can also occur when contamina contaminated material gets into broken skin or possibly ingesting it. So early symptoms include fatigue, fever and muscle aches, especially in the large muscle groups, thighs, hips, back and sometimes shoulders also. There may, al there may also be headaches, dizziness, chills, abdominal problems such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and uh, uh, worst cases include fluid accumulation in lungs. How can we prevent exposure to hantavirus? You all know that human infection occur through inhalation of contaminated material. Cleaner procedures must be performed in a way that limits the amount of airborne dust. Attempt to reduce the presence of mice and limit contact with their droopings, urine and saliva by storing food, water and garbage in heavy plastic or metal containers. There is no specific treatment cure or vaccine for hantavirus or any other infection in the world. Because treatment options are limited, the best protection is to avoid rodents and their habitats. If infected individuals are recognized early and receive medical care in an intensive care unit, they may do better. There is a chance of uh, the survival or otherwise cases, there are certain cases uh, in which death deaths are also recorded. So this was all for today. See you in the next one. Do check my other videos in the playlist. Thanks a lot and subscribe for more. See you all in the next video. Bye.